Well, hey, how's everybody doing today? It's Marshall. I'm actually down in the cabin today, you guys. I'm on vacation. I have my 33rd birthday next week, and uh, I'm going to do a live fire video today. But it's going to be a better, better than just, you know, a shooting video. I want to do some actual research here. So uh, what I have is outside. Let me just show you guys. Outside, back out here on the ground, I have this board. Well, multiple boards. It's about eight inches, seven and a half inches of these one and one quarter inch boards. And if you look, I've, I've actually already shot it. These are 357 Magnum. I have FMJ and a hollow point and then 45 FMJ and a hollow point. And uh, I'm gonna take this apart in a minute and show you guys that, but I figured I'd bring you along for the live fire on the on the 380 versus the nine by 18 Makarov. So uh, here's what we have here. Here's my Astra 357 and I'm using Monarch Academy brand, and I shot it with the hollow point and the, and the full metal jacket, so that's the 357 I ran through. Here's my 1911 Springfield with the 230 grain Remington uh, UMC, I believe, hollow point, and I'm using Bernal, just a full metal jacket 230 grain. And then this is why this is such a good test. I had to make it scientific, you guys. I have my Sig Sauer P232, the stainless model. And I have the brand new, uh, I just bought a second. This is the one I used to have. And I have that fancy grip on it that kind of gives you a, it's a different style release. It kind of, I like how they designed that. But the Makarov, it's in 9x18 Makarov. And as you can see, this is this is a very good control test because I have this is 94 grain full metal jacket and it's nine by eighteen still cased. And then I have nine by seventeen or three eighty ACP and this is actually ninety-five grain full metal jacket. And what's good is both of these pistols, you guys, they have the exact, when I say exact, well, we're within, we're within a 16th or I don't know, two 16ths of an inch. The barrel is roughly the same. So when we shoot uh, this full metal jacket into the wood out there, I mean, you're going to get a really good idea, you know, just what the penetration is roughly. I mean, sure, we have one extra grain. It, it's pretty close, and that, that's what I'm shooting for here. And then we'll we'll break open that block and take a look. But uh, now this is going to be interesting because I'm shooting, and I'm trying to take you guys with me. I already got my ears on, so here's one round of the, the American Eagle. We're going to go ahead and put that into the SIG here. And we're going to go shoot it. So this uh Sig Sauer P232, a real pretty little gun. Just bear with me, I'm gonna have to rack it real quick. Just gonna set you guys down for a second. Sorry about that, just had to rack the gun. And we're gonna put this one, let's go ahead and put the, the 230, I'm just gonna fire about right now, I'll put it right here. So there's the shot, all right, caught on empty. So there is the 380. Now let's go ahead and grab the Mac. Set that guy down. Put the... Oh boy, how am I gonna do this with one hand? <laughs> I really could use some kind of tripod or something here. You guys, I'm just gonna have to do it like this. I'm trying to let you see what's going on here. That'd actually be one in there, let me see. Yeah, I actually already have one round in the chamber and that's the only kind of ammo, that's the only kind of ammo that I have, so. So this here is a Bulgarian Makarov made by Arsenal. I have one in the chamber. We're just gonna put that directly below the 380. So, let me just set, set this down on the truck here. Well, 
take it back inside. What I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to see the penetration. So we have 357 Magnum on the top. We have full metal jacket and hollow point, 45 ACP, full metal jacket and hollow point, 380 ACP, 95 grain, full metal jacket, and then 9 by 18 Makarov, 94 grain, full metal jacket. Now, as you can see, I put some pliers there. Tried to think this thing through somewhat. I can cut this. Oh, come on, there we go. It'd be easier just to untwist it. Just trying to do it one handed here. Okay, I got it cut. So let me flip it back over. I'm sorry about the angle, you guys. Okay. All right, so, well, obviously the 380 and the 9x18 Makarov are not going to penetrate as deep as the 45 and the 357 did. So let's just start by removing the first one. Okay. So everything's still going there. All right, let's move the second one. I see a bullet. <laughs> Oh, well, there's the 380 ACP. That would be the 380. And these two are stuck together. So, try to get those unstuck. Use my foot here. And would you look at that. So the 9x18 Makarov right here and the 45 roughly have the same penetration into hard wood. And what's even more interesting is I see a 357 here, or the jacket, let me correct that. The bullets, oh, the bullets there too. Now, now that's the hollow point. That would be the hollow point. So the full metal jacket had a complete pass through, but the 357 Magnum, with the hollow point, it stopped in the in the last board, which is like seven and a half. It's one, two, three, five, one and three quarter inch boards, pressure treated wood, I believe. So about about seven inches of penetration out of the 357 Magnum hollow point, and then the full metal jacket continued through the 45. Well, actually, there's the full metal jacket of the 45 in the fourth board. And the uh, hollow point that was the Remington UMC green and white box is roughly the same, a little more actually. So that's a good hot round. Of course, the uh, 380 ACP is a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter than the Makarov, which made it as far as the 45. So there you go, you guys. That's, uh, that's real data. You know, somebody out there is going to find that useful. And uh, well, that's pretty much what I had to show you guys today. I know that's just a, a quick, fun little video, but these little Makarovs, they are, they're good pistols, you guys. And that ammunition, this is Monarch, bought at Academy Sports, Texas. But uh, yeah, that actually surprised me. I figured that would be a little less than the 45 course this is just uh Bernal you know but yeah and there are the, the 45 ACP hollow point that actually went a little bit deeper surprisingly must be just a little bit hotter being a defensive round but well well you guys that's about all I have to show you today and uh Hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you found something in it useful. Uh, I know I'm just shooting in the hard wood, but you don't really see a lot where people are, you know, taking, you know that 380 ACP and 9 by 18 Makarov are very close, but that just shows you, at least in, in these two ammos, 
the Monarch and the American Eagle, you know, what you can expect. Well, y'all have a great day and God bless and thank you for watching.